happy Monday. I'm filming this before I've even uploaded last week's vlog. Oh, I didn't get on it. Um, Monday has been pretty good. I saw tons of APO people today in like the dining halls and stuff. And now I'm going to my consulting meeting where our corporate client is coming in. Um, so we have to be a bit more like dressed up for it. Um, which is a bit why I'm in my suit and blazer. And then I'll be working on a government essay after that. Here are some photos I took of Daniel for APO Spotted. He gets so mad because I spot him all the time and he never spots me. Ha ha ha. And then this is dinner. There were loads of APO people in the dining hall, which was cute. And then allergies. Allergies are so bad out here because there's so much pollen. Um, then just in tally. Daniel broke his chair. So embarrassing. Can't be associated. We had a Plaran event where we turned plastic bags into like mats for the Boys and Girls Club. And then a brothers meeting. Welcome to week 36. There are four weeks of classes left, um, which is so unbelievable to me. Um, today is Tuesday and we had our brothers meeting today, which is a lot of fun. I'm spending so much time with the brothers here and, you know, obviously here are my two conflicting views about leaving America. So obviously, like, I've made such good friends here i'm getting so much closer to them because i'm seeing them like around campus more and then we're gonna go on brothers retreat and i'll get even closer so obviously i'm very sad to be leaving some people who i really value in my life behind but the other part of me is like um leave people wanting more you know it, i've had my year with people who i love and I'm gonna leave them behind and I can stay in touch with them like online and stuff but it's okay to move on. It is really cold these days um, but it's meant to be warming up on Thursday which is good because I thought North Carolina was meant to be warm. Um, what else is going on in my life these days? Uh, just doing my work, writing my essays. I'm writing one of my government essays on universal basic income, yes! So that's exciting because, um, like, I already know a fair amount about it and now I'm looking at the effect that it could have on American culture, which is kind of a fun angle. And there's some really fun service events and fellowship events happening this week, so this week should be a good vlog. I'm excited um, and I will talk to you soon. On Wednesday, I went to an interview party and a trivia night at the Raleigh Beer Garden, which was a lot of fun, and then spent the night, not the night, the evening, in the library, doing work, writing essays with some friends, there they are, and doing the Wordle, but I didn't get it on Wednesday. No, so sad. Um, oh, here's another picture from the Plan event, which I thought was funny. And then, what event is this? Oh, gardening in Ghana on Thursday morning. Always a good time, always lots of fun. Here's a picture of me with the chickens. I love gardening. What's coming next? Oh yeah, on Thursday, there was a tornado warning and everyone was so chill, just sitting in tally. I was freaking out, but there wasn't a tornado. It was okay. Hey, hey, um, it's Thursday right now, jeez. And um, my phone is about to die, so I'm gonna speak quickly. But some updates. Once again, super busy week, but so many fun things coming up. The next few vlogs are going to be so much fun. Get so excited because I'm excited to just live the life. Um, I won't spoil them, but just know the next like three or four weeks are going to be so exciting. Um, it is pollen and allergy season here in Raleigh and I thought I was going to be fine because last summer when I moved out here I didn't like have any allergies or anything like that um, but I definitely do. There's literally like if you sit down on a bench outside you'll stand up and be covered in yellow pollen and I'm just sneezing a lot a lot. Um, it's Thursday I'm just coming back from the library. Um, I can sleep in tomorrow morning which is exciting because that's the first time in a long time that I've been able to sleep in and then I have to be up at like seven or eight every morning for the next nine days after that and then I can have a sleep in day again which is very good much I'm very much looking forward to it um, I really need to make sure that I'm being productive with the time that I have because um, 
I don't have a lot of it and I have a lot of things to get done and I've like been kind of productive the last few weeks but there's been a lot of kind of sitting and staring into space or sitting on my phone when I should be working. I just need to feel like if I'm working, I'm working and then that means that hopefully I'll get things done quicker and then I can take an actual rest and have an actual break. So trying to build new study habits, trying to live my life but once again I'm loving APO, I love all the friends that I've made, I loved gardening in Ghana today. It's all good but I'm also being a really bad vlogger this week because I'm like busy I just appreciate the time that I have with my friends so then I forget to vlog and I forget to take photos but the next few weeks I'm sure I will remember because there's lots of exciting things happening. Tomorrow I'm going to help at the Boys and Girls Club and then on Saturday we're going to a Lima Centre so that'll be fun. Um, and then Sunday we're building a shack but I will tell you more about that on Sunday. See you. Oh, also, there is a concert on campus, a free concert, on the last day of class, and I know the person who's organising it, who chose the band who's coming to play, and we don't know who, like, which artist it will be, um, but me and this friend have this joke going that it's going to be Coldplay, so I was looking up Coldplay's tour because they're touring, and I'm going to see them in Arizona with Sarah. We bought Coldplay tickets because they're playing just outside Phoenix, literally like the day that we're planning to get to Phoenix and tickets were like 40 quid to see Coldplay. Oh my god, they're literally my top 5 artists of all time on Spotify. I'm so buzzing, I'm so excited. Unbelievable, life changing. I just went on one of Katie Seagang's tours. Yay, Yay, go back! She was so good at giving the tour, not to make her head big, but it was a really good tour. She was. And now we're going to watch the pledges paint their paddles at the Court of Carolina. It's such a beautiful day, look at really the scenery. Whoa. And then I'm going to the Boys and Girls Club. Yes! We're at the Duke Lima Center. Say hey. Riley, say hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> We're like mulching the enclosures. Alexa, say hey. hey. <laughs> and ooh. Oh, ooh. Ooh. And <laughs> we're like carrying bamboo, wheelbarrowing. It's been super fun. And the lemurs are so cool. Zelda. And over here with the Miss Hilton is Lisa. She's a matriarch of the church, so she's the mom of all female devotees. One very small cultural thing that I don't think I've talked to you about yet is um, when you're like walking along a path and you have to move to a side of the path because there's someone else coming your way. In Britain, we tend to move to the left, and I naturally just move to the left to let people pass. But here, I assume it's to do with like which side of the road you drive on. People naturally move to the right, so quite a lot of the time, I like cause problems because I will move to the left, and someone else coming towards me will move to the right. So we both move to the same side of the path. Um, so that's something that I've just like got used to. That now I still tend to move to the left more often, but. I will naturally move to the right. Um, so that's going to be like when I come back to Britain. Maybe I'll be used to moving to the right, and then if people in Britain will move to the left, and then we'll end up crashing, just like I crash into people in America. Honestly, it causes so many issues in my life being a foreigner. Um, but yeah, there's a small cultural thing to point out to you. Look how pretty campus is these days. Oh, I love spring. Um, but the bad thing is, Raleigh is really bad for pollen like you can literally if you set your phone down on like a surface outside when you pick it up it will be like yellow and dusty just because of the amount of pollen on surfaces so I feel like I need to sneeze constantly pretty much um, and that's just part and parcel of living in Raleigh 
Me and some of my APO family went for coffee and then we had a pastel themed party. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Everyone looked so good. The photos turned out so well. Um, I love this photo. So cute. And then me and my twin had matching pastel socks. So you know we looked hey, good. Hey, mini update for you. Last night we, there was an APO party. It was pastel themed. So everyone was dressed in their pastel clothes and my photos from it are super cute. I'll insert some here. And we got back, I went to bed about 3 a.m. And now it is the first day of Shackathon. So I was up at 7.30 to start building our shack at 8 a.m. And it's tough going. I think it's gonna take us a while, but it's it's so fun. I will get some clips of us building it. <laughs> And last thing, we went to see Spongebob the Musical Sunday afternoon. This week has been a lot of fun and this next week coming up is super busy so I'm stressed but also excited, yay!